Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete alerts on Webull application. So first of all, of course, you would like to go and download Webull application on your phone. Of course, you can do that through Play Store if you're using an Android, App Store if you're using an iPhone or any other store you could be possibly using. Then you would like to go and open the application, then sign up to create your account. Of course, if it's your first time using the application then actually if, first of all if you have an account ignore all of that log into your account and let's just get straight into this tutorial so for me i'm just going here to open my webull application and as you wait uh, let's let's just load so as you can see here that is actually my home or my main screen and here i'll find the watch list like socks cryptos global whatever i i, I add here so you can find out on how to add anything here any stock or any crypto on one of our videos in this channel so first of all uh, how or let's just back to the idea on the video of the video uh, which, which is how to delete alerts on webull application so it's simply you would like to go and click on the menu here at the bottom right corner so here you have price alerts so if you click on that as you can see i have here no messages already so if i click here on this uh, icon which is like the settings icon at the top right corner i can actually go to there and then as you can see message preference go and push that off or toggle this off so that's how you can actually like not delete but turn off the notification or the alerts if you want them to stay on just go let that and if you want to like delete the alerts just uh, let's say as an example this message is our alert so just keep pressing on that and as you can see you will find an option called deletes the same will happen with alerts because i cannot show you here because i have no alerts but if you have some alerts and it's not and you want to delete them just hover on them and or keep clicking on them then click on delete and you will be good to go so that will be actually for this tutorial i hope you guys like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye